Well, the Colorado River is a valuable resource for millions, but what if reliance on the precious waterway caused it to disappear? Gary Stryker has a story. The Colorado River means life for much of the West. 36 million drink its water, and it irrigates soil for 15% of the nation's crops. As critical as the water that's taken out are the flowing waters that mean jobs for 800,000 people in the recreation and tourism industry. But it's a mecca of economic development through outdoor recreation, and that needs to be recognized in how we manage uh, the Colorado River system. But now, demand on the Colorado River's water exceeds its supply, and the river disappears before it reaches the Gulf of California in Mexico. Interior Secretary Ken Salazar says changes are needed to protect the flows for everyone. You know, our attitudes about rivers as a public uh, really have changed in, in the last 25 years where there are very important economic values intrinsic to keeping uh, some water in the flow of the river. Federal authorities have nearly completed a study that will recommend to Congress ways to balance supply and demand in a 50-year plan for the Colorado's future, a plan that would improve urban conservation and agricultural efficiency and provide options for existing water storage that will allow for keeping more water in the river. Delegates from hundreds of river-dependent enterprises in the Colorado Basin are sharing their thoughts with lawmakers in the Capitol this week so that their businesses, in addition to agriculture and cities, can all continue to share this precious resource. For NBC News, I'm Gary Stryker.